what's up you guys and welcome back to the vlog we just met with our party event planner for the baby shower and um oh my gosh it was so much <laughs> i'm so glad that we decided to hire someone to do it all because dude the out the meeting was like two and a half hours and it was all information like the like there was not even a it's not like we had time where we just talked about the birds and the bees. I mean, that whole two and a half hours was planning. Was planning, straight planning. Yeah. Like, I'm so glad that we decided to hire out because there's just no way I could have done it. There's, it's impossible. I mean, I'm sure it's possible, but there's just for no me way. right now, there's just no way. There's just no way. I mean, it was so much information and, and it was good. Like it was a, it was probably one of the most productive Maybe I mean, the mm -hmm. person that we hired to do it, like, she's on her stuff. Yeah, for sure. She is on her stuff. She's like, she, she's, knows, everybody. she knows everybody. She has connects. She's cold with it. But just taking all that in and her writing down everything that needed to be planned out, it was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot. I'm like, oh my gosh. Thank the Lord we decided to do this. Yeah, because we couldn't have did it by ourselves. Mm-mm. So, um, but yeah, we're excited about it because even with that, still just the idea of knowing that it's coming and it's about to happen, um, we're so excited. We're excited. We're, we think it's going to be like dope mm -hmm. and we got everything squared away as far as the planning process. So with minimal homework, I mean, we don't have a lot that we have to do. There's a couple things, but it's not like, and that's exactly what I wanted. I did not want a lot to do that's why we're doing it yeah. this way yeah for her to do everything because i'm just too tired i'm literally gonna take a nap i was about to take a nap before i decided to talk to you guys because it was a lot and you know what i have a mad respect just now for i have a i have a different type of appreciation for event planners because oh, yeah. They really have a job, like a task. And they you really know? think like about every little thing you could never even imagine. Yeah. Like there's so much that didn't even cross either of our minds. Like even with like in I was just telling Dez, I was like, even with the parking situation, I didn't even think about that, but duh, it's like they have to have somewhere to park to even get up in here. So like, but that's just something I didn't take into consideration. I'm just like, mm -hmm. let's just park wherever they park. <laughs> you know what I mean? But which thankfully because we live in a new development there's a lot of vacancy around so yeah. there's plenty of space to park but it's just that simple thing that we didn't even think about yeah but when she drove in here she was like she was already like yeah they can park over here i drove over here i'm like wow yeah she was that's on before it. she even came in that's before she even came in the door she was yeah. already on it she is really good and so i mean we'll you know link her information and stuff but it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be good it's gonna be good i think it'll be it gives the best of both worlds so des is gonna have her part of it i'm gonna have my part of it and it'll be interactive it's gonna be good it'll be a good cannot wait to share it with you guys it's gonna yeah be so cool it's gonna be dope our first baby shower so exciting our first baby shower you and think i think it's so exciting because like we didn't have a wedding you guys know we it was during covid so we just had like our literally our siblings and our mom yeah and maybe like two friend couples there that's all we could fit into the church yeah or they, that they will allow so it's just kind of fun it's like our first like really big event to really celebrate you something, know yeah yeah to really celebrate something you know we think pom pom is going to be excited about it mm -hmm. um and yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be cool. But uh, I was about to say, what was I about to say? I made spaghetti last night, so I'm just eating leftovers. <laughs> Hungry. By the way, the spaghetti was really good. Mm -hmm. She used a different type of noodles than normal. I actually like those. It was really good. They're too filling for me. Oh, they are. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do steaks tonight. I'm putting some uh, tenderloins on the. Or it's the beef filet mignons or whatever mm -hmm. but i'm putting those on the grill for us tonight so i'm excited about that we're gonna have some nice steaks mm -hmm. and yeah man it's gonna be it's gonna be a good weekend it's gonna be a real good weekend hopefully the rain stops y'all it has been raining like every single day and i'm so mad because i was telling people like why is it that during june july and august we don't get a drop of rain 
know. When we really need it, when it's like really hot. Mm -hmm. But now that we're in, what are we in? March? May? Oh, March. March, it, it's been raining like every day, if not every other day. Yeah, which sucks because it's delaying the pool a little bit. Um, so that's kind of annoying. Yeah, yeah. But we still have plenty of time. Yeah, and they should be doing the, 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 they only have maybe like two more steps to go with the pool, which is the plastering. And then they have to, um, do something else and then that's that should be it and then we, of course we got to get our landscaping done so our side installed and we're going to get some gravel installed and so the backyard should be done well before time but you know when there's delays you start getting a little nervous like right now i'm nervous because i'm like oh snap even though it's even not, though it's plenty of time it's still like oh my gosh yeah yeah you know exactly uh, i like stuff to just flow and go smooth and be straight so <sighs> just cross y'all's fingers, man, and everything is done. This mm -hmm. rain lets up. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want some food too, though. I'm about to make me some spaghetti. Mm -hmm. About to definitely make me some. I'm back on my watermelon obsession. Um, I ordered some yesterday and I ate like half of it. <laughs> Yo, I thought she was about to eat the whole thing again. I was like, you ate the whole thing? She was like, well. I could go for another piece. <laughs> <laughs> Watermelon is just so clutch right now. Cause it's like you're getting the health benefit, the water is cold, it's crunchy, it's just so satisfying. Whoa, what is this? I cannot believe this guys, wow. Wow, y'all we waited I'm about to give y'all the backstory on this. this. I'm about to give y'all the backstory on this. One mission, one channel, one million subscribers. Sub subscribers, congratulations. Mm, wow. Never thought we'd see it. So, y'all. This is what dedication looks like. Well, no, this is what us getting played looks like. I, well, I'm saying the dedication of continuing. Oh, yeah, continuing <laughs> on. Because after this, I was like, I don't. So let me get y'all a backstory real quick. Wow, we got our gold plaque. Isn't it gorgeous? We got our gold plaque, so. <sighs> wow, she's a beauty. So guys, we passed a million subscribers. Uh, last year. Last year, in mm -hmm. February. Yeah. And we were supposed to get our plaque, but what ended up happening was there was some type of content strike on our account from like two years ago. Yeah. When Destiny had did this prank. So long story short, YouTube didn't want to give us the gold plaque for like the longest. Yeah. Finally, after appealing and appealing and appealing and appealing, um, I took this training that we had to take, I guess, to relieve to remove the Even content though strike. content strikes don't even last that long, they just literally kept our channel on They literally kept us on a content strike for like Yeah. yeah two over years. two years, which is not normal. Right. So finally they removed it and then literally just this month they were like, okay guys, you can go ahead and get your plaque now. And when they told us we couldn't get this plaque, I contemplated like, do I do we even still want to do this? Yeah, it was so annoying. Cause I was like, we worked so hard for this plaque. This is one of the plaques that I was like really, really wanting for our channel. And now it really unfortunately kind of took away the- It took away the- Excitement for I me. mean, we're still thankful for it. We're not complaining about it, but again, this is one of those things where it's like it really took a long time. It, it, it took away from just so we're thankful, you too. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to all of our subbies. We love you guys and appreciate you for rocking with us. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we finally got our gold plaque. Wow, crazy. Looks good. She's a beauty. This, she is beautiful. Mm hmm. Yeah. Wow, Put it over here. A... Let me see. I think it'll show better because of the lighting. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Gorgy. Gorgeous. She is so beautiful. Destiny, Destiny and, Brandon. and Brandon. One million YouTube. And it's because of y'all we hit this milestone. By the way, even though we're well over it, we uh, it's because of you guys we hit this. So we thank you so much for the support and just rocking with us and on our journey coming with us. Cause we never thought we would do this until we did it. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> We truly, truly thank you guys for, for rocking with us. And this means a lot to us and we don't take this for granted. So, hey, 
listen, y'all better come get y'all girl Destiny because uh, she she almost got she almost got what it. What I do? What I do? So, he don't even know. He just just talking, you know. Brandon's doing the steaks. Ooh, let me get a napkin. Mina. Oh, plastic, plastic. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing. Uh, we're doing filet mignons. And Destiny's doing the sides. Mm -hmm. So we're cooking up some stuff. Yeah, I'm doing some roasted potatoes and then maybe like some green beans. I think. I don't know. Actually, oh you know what? Also, guys, let me let me uh let me kind of go back to what I said earlier because I felt like I was a little earlier, you know, we were kind of because we had we were talking about the YouTube plaque. It's not that we're not appreciative. We're very thankful for the plaque. So I didn't want it to come off as we're not. Oh, no. I don't think that's you gave that. Oh, okay. Because I just, I wanted y'all to know we are appreciative. It's just the simple fact of. Like it, we had to put in a lot of work. On Right. It. Once we reached the million, it was still, they didn't want to give it to us. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. And it really was hurtful because we were like, dude, first of all, y'all, they, t what happens with YouTube is. Basically, so let me just tell y'all the backstory what happened. Yeah. So we did a prank, and maybe some of you guys remember it, maybe some of you don't. But we did this prank where basically we put these, I put these little um, firecrackers, you know those little pop rocks that you throw? The one you throw and you pop, that And pops. it pops. So yeah. anyway, I, I lined the toilet with those, and then um, we I closed the bathroom, and basically Brandon closed the toilet, and it made it like a loud pop noise or whatever, but you couldn't see anything, like nothing. It was just strictly the sound. The door was closed. The door was closed, right? Yeah. So they basically gave us a strike for it here on YouTube, which we could never understand. We're like, dude, we have seen so many crazier things People on do YouTube crazier stuff, yeah. Where it's actually on the camera and the video's still up, millions and hundreds of millions of views and stuff. So, it was just really frustrating because we were like, okay, number one, that wasn't even like a harmful prank. Number two, it's not supposed to last that long. Like the strike was um, over a year. No, yeah. So, so the so the prank happened probably two years ago. We were in right. the were we in the Frisco apartment? Yeah, we were in our first apartment. Okay, so the prank happened about maybe a year and a half ago. Yeah. So when we hit a million subscribers last year, we were thinking, I'm waiting on the plaque, like, oh man, because this is kind of what we work for. This is one of our what one of our goals was to get a gold plaque. Yeah. So when it didn't come, I reached out to him. I'm like, hey, it's been like, I don't know, two or three months. We haven't gotten our plaque. Oh, you guys have a content strike from a year and a half ago on your channel, so you're not eligible for it. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Nonetheless, we're excited about it, grateful for it, but. I don't know. It's just sometimes as a creator, you feel like you kind of get a little bit like picked on a little bit, you know, like for yeah. the tedious things. Yeah. And if you guys are in the business, you kind of know, but it's kind of like that boss that just like hovers over you and nitpicks. And what are those bosses called? What micro. They? It's like micromanage. being micromanaged. Yeah. That's kind of how it feels like that we've had that, that kind of, that's kind of how I, our, oh my gosh. That's kind of how our experience feels with YouTube. And so that's why I kept saying like this is a um, testament to consistency. Because even though we feel like we've been like super micromanaged, we still never gave up. Right. So that's kind of like a, our testimony. And we, and as I was telling y'all earlier, you know, that really, that really kind of bothered me because I'm like, man, we put in the work. And it was just like, wow, super discouraging. Super, super discouraging. Yeah. And so finally, you know, when we got the plaque, we were thankful, but it, it didn't feel the same because it's like. We literally had to like beg them for it. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, exactly. Like, so that's why I just, I didn't want, I didn't want it to come off as I was, as if I was being unappreciative because I'm not, I'm really thankful for it. I'm glad we got it. But at the same time, it just takes away from the aura because of the just i don't know yeah because it was definitely like they made us go through classes and all this stuff and we're just like what the heck like we don't even if you guys have been watching us like we never do anything like super raunchy and crazy crazy and off the wall like it's very like tasteful fun yeah so it just was like really like the strikes aren't even what are strikes supposed to only last like three months well, so 
Okay, so here's the thing. Let me show y'all what happened. So the contract strike lasted up until. But what are they supposed to last for? Like, the there, well, tells you. well, you can appeal it, but if you don't appeal it, it's going to last until you take. Now it's until you take a training. Right. So before that wasn't when we first got that strike, that was not the case. No, this it is the first I've ever had heard of a, a training. Yeah, that thing was on there for the longest. I don't think you can do anything to, to get it off. I don't know. Well, I don't well, know. we deleted the video, which is what they said. Right, but the content strike was still on there, even after the video was deleted. But it says, like, like a new cycle or something. Remember back when it happened, we were like, okay, well, it'll be three months. It was something like three months, I remember. I we were know. like, okay, well, in three months, you know, it'll the strike will be gone. Yeah, I don't but know. But now it's all these things. Like, now you have to take a class for it. And yeah, I had to take stuff. a training, and then they removed it 90 days after that. Yeah, see, that wasn't, like, they even switched up the whole, we basically went through two different criterias for removing strikes before they removed ours. Yeah, and I was just like, it just, it was really, really, it was, when I tell you that was really bothers, bothersome to me, that was really bothersome, because I'm like, we worked hard for this, and for y'all to just do this to us, yeah, and I'm seeing people celebrate with their gold plaques, and of course I'm happy for them. I mean, I want us all to get out here and get it, but then I'm looking like, bro, like, we should be doing this celebration of a plaque too. You know what I mean? So, but anyway. It's pretty frustrating, but thank God we have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, again, it's, it's thank God for it, and we, we appreciate, like I told y'all before, we appreciate y'all because without y'all, we wouldn't even be at a million subs, or for a million subs, so we just thank y'all for rocking with us, and we just gonna keep going, man. Absolutely. But I say that to say also, don't let one little thing discourage you. Well, it's not a little to me, but don't let one thing discourage you yeah. because it that could have been something that would have been easy for us to give up on. Yeah, and it, it was very frustrating. Like when you are in this, it's not very, like obviously it's rewarding with the love and the, um, and the engagement with you guys and it's very rewarding with the conversation and relationships we build with you guys and stuff like that very rewarding yeah but it's like you don't really get like a i mean it's just like a trophy type of thing you know yeah. i don't know like something to put in your home that just says something so it's like you don't get very many of those things like the next one for youtube isn't until you reach like what like 10 million 10 million yeah so and it's so, just kind of a it's kind of a significant thing, you know. It's a yeah, it's a very significant thing. But anyway, nonetheless, it's done. We've got it, and we're thankful. Thank you to YouTube for finally. Yeah. You know. Thank you to YouTube as well. Thank you to y'all, and we don't mean to like I said complain, but we're just thankful that we got it, and it's, it's it looks beautiful. It looks amazing. It does. It's so beautiful. But um yeah, so we're doing dinner now. Um, and I'm just kind of cleaning as I go here a little bit. I love, y'all, we switched over to um, this, the natural products with our new water system. And it just reminded me to remi uh, to talk about it with you guys because I was watching Julianne Hunter and she was sharing the one that they use. I think they use bowl and something, some other kind of natural cleaner, but we use pure and gentle. This came with the water system that we installed in our house. Puronics. Puronics. Basically, you pour the solution in, then you mix water with it. And it's just so good. Like, it's so refreshing. It's not a strong chemical smell. Um, we've got the soap. We've got the all-purpose cleaner. Uh, what else? Um, we have laundry detergent. Yeah. We have dishwashing liquid. We have bar soap. We have bar soap, facial soap, shampoo. Um, uh, hair shampoo. shampoo so many things like and then there's deodorizing even, uh, cleaner yeah deodorizer so and they just they're, it's so refreshing because it's not that strong and i'm like trust me y'all it's so funny to even hear myself talk about this because i used to be a hardcore bleach everything down girl yeah like if it didn't smell like bleach i didn't feel like it was clean yeah but this just subtle just cleanliness it's just it's just the best one, and I feel like it's really good for your materials as well. And y'all, another thing about it is, because I have sensitive skin, it works really well for sensitive skin. Oh my gosh, that's like, one I don't, of my like, favorite things. When I used to get out the shower, I would itch. Yeah, really bad. It really bad, and now I'm not even itching anymore. Yeah. And this is before I put even put on my lotion and stuff. Yeah. No itching at all. Yeah, so. it's been the best thing. I'm so glad that we have it installed 
because I feel like because he has sensitive skin, I'm really just gonna be prepared for Pom Pom to have sensitive skin. I'm not wishing that on the baby, but I just wanna be prepared and I'm glad we got the system now and we know it works for Brandon. And so, yeah, so I'm really glad. But that's kind of like an update because I feel like we kind of shared it and we never gave like an update about it. Obsessed, like best investment that we feel like we've made. One of the best investments. And it's not, it's not sponsored or anything. We, yeah, just, no. we just swear by this because it's, it, it works. It really works. Like you it know? was one of the best investments I feel like that we made. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anywho. We are gonna finish getting dinner ready and then we'll share with you guys. We'll show y'all the final product. Like. Cause these done. things about to be bomb, baby! Yeah, I'm so excited. Yum, juicy. What kind of meat is this? Filet mignon. Filet beef. mignon. They're, they're beef tenderloins, basically. Filet mignon. So what I like to do is when they come off the grill, I like to um, put this garlic butter on them and mm -hmm. put foil over them and let it let the butter just Rest. soak in on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I'm excited, I can't wait. Yummers. Y'all, I totally burned my potatoes a little bit in here. <laughs> but Brandon says they taste good, so we're still gonna eat them. And then we got some green beans that are all done. And then the steaks have got the juices flowing, so we're about to get ready to dig in. We're gonna do an in-house date night tonight, y'all. Mm -hmm. um, we got our food cooked. After we eat that, we're gonna watch um, probably Row House the movie. It just dropped. If, if y'all are not familiar with Row House, it is a classic. Um, oh, it is. Yes, this is a remake. Oh, I thought somebody. Oh. oh. Yeah. So, so for those who are not familiar, Road House is a classic that Patrick Swayze played in back in the. I don't know if it was late 80s or early 90s, but the movie was phenomenal. So if you haven't seen the first Row House, I would encourage you to watch that one before you watch this one. Because mm. that one will give you a little bit more perspective into what this one, new one, is about. But yeah, it's definitely a classic that y'all must see. Dope movie. I think Conor McGregor's in this one, and we're going to see how that goes. You know, Conor McGregor's. Wait, the wrestling? I mean, the fire? The MMA fire, yeah. Mm. So yeah, so... We're gonna do that, and yeah, we just this is gonna be a nice little in-house date night. We're gonna chill and relax, maybe throw the fireplace on, watch a movie, you know, mm -hmm. um, eat. I might have a glass of little wine, and Destiny, Destiny might have a glass of fruit juice. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the pregnancy cravings are insane because I literally woke up. Well, first of all, I went to sleep with it on my mind. And then I had a dream about it. So then I woke up and I uh, got some of the burger and the cheeseburgers that Brandon grilled last night. Lettuce, tomatoes, jalapenos, <laughs> mustard, ketchup, and then a side of pickle. Mm, so excited. It's going to be so good. For those of y'all who have never had... A chai tea latte oh my god this is the drink I just really recently started drinking these and uh, yeah you definitely need to try one of those try one of these and I sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on, cinnamon on it to top it off but it's just basically it's the most basic drink but I use chai tea milk steamed milk and then I put some honey in there and I top it off with cinnamon but yeah, chai tea latte, that's the truth. So I'm putting my microphone together, y'all. I ended up ordering another microphone for the podcast because I'm so excited about tomorrow. We're shooting an episode, and I got one of my homeboys, who I, my good friends who I've known for a long time, coming on to do the podcast with us. So, um, ended up having to get another microphone and microphone stand. These sure microphones, and this is not sponsored or anything, but these sure microphones are, focus, focus, focus. These are the truth. These are really, really good. And all you need is XLR cables. Um, so what I do is I take the cable and uh, put it in from the microphone to the Rodecaster. 
and literally all you need to do is just talk it picks up everything so great you don't have to like you know talk into the microphone or anything you could literally be like right here and it picks it up so clear so if anybody who's doing podcasts and needs tip on microphones or anything these sure ones are the truth and i got them from amazon and then i just got this nice little sturdy um microphone stand from the guitar center because these microphones are really heavy so you kind of need like a sturdy stand like a heavy stand to be able to bear the weight of the microphone because they're so heavy so i got this stand and these work pretty good for me but um yeah i can't wait because this episode is going to be dope we're going to be talking about basically um if you don't go to the league it's not the end all be all for your life um you just want to kind of give people encouragement and for people who think that just because they didn't make it to the league whether it's football basketball baseball whatever the case may be um that life is not over you can still be successful you can still have other dreams you can still create other uh visions for your life plans and purposes um other than the league because i mean let's be real like 0.01 percent of people make it to the league so trust me it, a, a lot of people are not going to go to the league and they may have the talent to do so but the opportunity may not present itself so we're just going to be talking about that on the podcast and i'm having one of my friends um join us so it'll be fun and exciting but yeah man i also wanted to recap last night so we watched row house um yeah, they should have stopped at the first one because <laughs> this row house that we watched last night was boo tea. It was not good. And, you know, Des brought up some good points. She was like, it was too much comedy involved. Like, if you went, if you watch the first row house, you'll know that it was a classic, but it was like a serious movie. It was like kind of a love story, but it was it wasn't any like corny comedy like this one was like it was just mad corny and it was the comedy and conor mcgregor was in it and that dude should never act again because <laughs> i don't know what he was doing in there but yeah it, it wasn't good at all like we didn't like it so i, I feel like they just should have kept it at one and not remade it but other than that it was a good date night we had um it's gonna be probably a chill saturday because i know tomorrow des has to go to a brunch and stuff like that and so um i think today we're just probably gonna chill out nothing major nothing going on we need these type of days um just because i mean the hustle and bustle that we have going on during the week and normally our week is pretty structured and we have to do it that way because we have a lot going on right so when the weekend hits we like to just get in a date night and not do too much unless the situation calls for it unless it's something like last minute that comes up and we're available we'll do it but we just like to chill man we like to enjoy our home and be chill bodies and so i think that's what we're gonna do today after we run our errands we decided to come to our uh favorite place dodie's yeah we showed it to y'all plenty of times on the vlog but destiny had a taste for some seafood and so of course Whatever Destiny wants, we're gonna get her. So we here at Dodie's, uh, and then we're probably gonna go to this yogurt place. It's a very pretty day outside. I think it's like, I mean, the weather's perfect out there, so it's like perfect. So that's why we're out. So yeah, we're just doing like a little day here, and then gonna go to a frozen yogurt place and uh, have some yogurt after. So yeah, good times, good vibes. We out here. We came to what's the name of the spot? It's it's called Twisted Treats. It's like a um, froyo place. Yes. So good. Hey, you know with me liking chocolate, I got like 
vanilla chocolate swirl with Reese's cups. Chocolate everything. Um, chocolate chips and brownie pieces. And Dez over here wanna be Miss Healthy. I don't even know what all this is. Okay. Almonds, um, almonds strawberries, strawberry, cheesecake, cheesecake, Oreo. And what's that piece in the middle? Is that an apple? No, this is um, mango mixed with something. Oh. My baby looking good. Look at this fish she got on, y'all. Like, what? They're so good. Did it look so comfortable and warm? <laughs> Are you comfortable? I am. Is baby comfortable? Baby is so comfortable. And comforted. I love these pumas she got on. Man, we didn't even do a drip check. But basically, y'all, this fit was about twenty thousand. <laughs> I remember the pumas being about ten thousand, and the fit was probably like five a piece for the shirt and the pants. So, mm -hmm. Destiny just had to make a run in Target. I thought we were on the way to the house, and we saw Target, and her eyes lit up. This is exactly why. We spend time in Target doing this. We made it back from the store and um, we were in the car. Well, we were walking to the car and we Brandon saw this couple that was like, I think she was pregnant with like her fourth. It looked like their, her fourth kid. Cause it was they had like, three kids in the cart and then one in the pregnant. stroller. Yeah. Oh, or was she pregnant? Oh, I don't know. It was four of them. It was four kids total. Some kind of way. I can't remember, but yeah. But um. We were basically talking about how, like, if we wanted or if we would have chosen to have kids younger. And I was just like, not necessarily me. I feel like at this uh, age, I'm 32. Yeah. I just feel like my patience is a That's little right. bit better. And my, um, like, mental headspace. Yeah. Even just, like, um, the position we're in. You know, like, established, basically. Yeah. And I think patience, number one, first of all. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think it's gotten way better over the, even like anxiety and just like, you know, when you're younger, you just like worry about every little thing. And now it's like things can just roll off so easy if it's not something like major. But and yeah. I remember like in our day, in our day, first days when we were dating, like I would get beat up just for coughing the wrong way. Yeah, right. You feel me? No physical, you guys, no. No, nah, I'm just playing. No, nah, but yeah, her your patience is great. Um, I want to say I'm not even gonna say it's great. It's great. Okay, it might not be great, but you, but you know what, guys? You know what's been like really cool. That's uh, I would say unnormal. Like literally, she's been like so nice and cool to me. Like I haven't been. I, I guess I haven't been like getting on her nerves or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's funny because, oh yeah, because everybody was saying, they were like, oh my gosh, you're pregnant, prepare to like basically hate Brandon, like you're not going to like him, he's going to get on your nerves, da, 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 da. but it's so weird how like nobody that's in my immediate circle, like my best friend, my sisters, my mom, Brandon, like nobody immediate bothers me. It's literally like random people that like do weird stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She, like that's where I'm just like snippy and I can't like handle it right now. Yeah. But I feel like he's been like the best. Like I don't know what it is, but I actually, <laughs> I actually really, really, really like him. But that's so funny because everybody was warning me like, you're just gonna hate him, and they were even telling him like, prepare, bro. She's gonna be so mean and da da da. And I feel like I've been far from that. No, you. Ha she hasn't been mean at like, all. Like she far. hasn't been mean at all. She hasn't been snappy except the one time we told you that she cried over the queso. Right, which that was just which, emotional. Yeah, that was emotional, and I mean, other than that, she's been like, she's been pretty. It's been a pretty good um, mood Very for pleasant. the most part. Very pleasant. Mm -hmm. She's been good to be around. I haven't had to be like, you know, what? I'm just gonna leave for about four or five hours and I'll come back and see you later. <laughs> It ain't been another that she's been like the same you know yeah it's been the same like, yeah because we never really just like beefed like that so yeah. i don't know i feel like it's been the same but even better yeah no it's been good it's yeah. been good and, and maybe it's because like they they say that well women always say like you really remember and really um basically like judge someone and you never forget how they treat you when you're pregnant. Mm. And I feel like because he just like really held it down when I was like flatlined that first trimester, maybe that's the difference. 
because yeah. like you really like and I always say like we we always like split stuff anyway in the house. It's like all hands on deck with everything. Like nobody has a specific. You're gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. If you don't yeah. do it, I'm not gonna do it. Type of thing. Like we don't really play that game at all. Um, I told. I told. I, I was. I told uh, when we did the podcast. I was like, you know, when we did the ginger ginger rolls. I was like, it's not about what a man does or what, what a woman does. It's about what a husband and a wife do. And we're there to be a team and pick up after each other, serve each other. So it's not about, and it's not even about keeping receipts on what you did. Yeah. You know what I mean? If, if you're doing that, then you, you're doing it for the wrong reasons anyway. True. And so it's really just truly about being a team and, and following behind each other and, you know, just being there to serve each other. And that's what it's been that's always what it's been in this relationship and that's always what it's gonna be yeah. and even you know even as we prepare to go into another trimester soon it's gonna be the same thing you know i'm sure there's gonna be times where i need to step it up and take on more of the load and i'm more than willing to do that because i mean how could i not right she's mm -hmm. carrying our child you know what i mean it's i mean it's yeah. What that goes without saying. Yeah. You know what I mean. For some so people and some people it doesn't. Yeah. For some people it does. For some people it doesn't. But I, for the people that it doesn't, I would encourage you to adopt that mentality to be like we a team. We are not against each other. We are not enemies. We are a team. Yeah. Because it's I, like you have to think about too. Like even though this is like it feels like a really long time period to go through pregnancy. Like when you break it up like day to day. But you have to kind of think about it. Okay, let's say someone is down for six to eight months or nine months, like completely just down. Like it's yeah. a really rough pregnancy the whole entire time. It's only nine months out of the... A lifetime. Yeah, like the extent of your entire relationship. Yeah. And I say that not because I'm... Well, I can say whatever I want because I'm going through it. But I'm saying I'm not trying to like minimize the how hard it is because it is like the hardest thing i feel like i've done ever but um when in the grand scheme of things like people like i've heard of guys being like really crappy during this time when the woman just cannot um perform like she used to you know what i mean like she can't clean she can't get up and cook she has no energy she's tired sleeping all the time and it's just wild to me because it's like dang for nine months you can't hold it down yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just nine months. And you got to understand, it's not, and I mean, let's be real, right? It's not even a fact of her physically not cleaning. It's the fact that, like, she can't be around certain chemicals yeah. because of the baby. So when you look at it from a totality, it's like, it's not that, it's, it's just from a health standpoint, they don't want her lifting. They don't want her cleaning. They don't want her doing certain things because anything could really affect her and the child. Yeah. And so you got to take that into consideration and that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make sure I look at it from her perspective and my perspective and look at the totality of the situation and be like, okay, I really can't complain about doing anything because look what she's going through, you know? And that's the mentality that I kind of want people to adopt, um, whether it's you know, you're older, younger, whatever the case may be, you just got to be a team and, and be there to just serve each other. And her patience with me and her just not going off the deep end with me and her just being who she is, it just makes me even want to grind even more harder just because it's like, wow, like this hasn't really affected you from a mood standpoint. You just, we just been still rocking and cool. And I mean, it's been fun, man. And I'm not and you know what the thing about it is is i'm not even saying that that day is not gonna come it may come it may come next week it may come in three weeks it may come in four weeks but three but when the day comes i just gotta call into remembrance again looking at the totality and looking at it from her perspective what she's going through and i just kind of just gotta just let it roll off the sleeve off my shoulders man if it does come let's hope it don't come because uh i'm liking this dance right here so yeah it's been it's been cool like i definitely um am enjoying the second trimester it's been it's been cool yeah um it's been now it's, it's so funny because somebody asked the other day they were like how many kids do you guys want da, da, da. and it's like pre-pregnancy i used to want four 
she wanted four, which <laughs> now I'm like four, four first trimesters again. Absolutely not. Yeah. Like pom pom is going to have a sibling and that's it. Like other than that, I'm good with two friends, cousins. Yeah. It's already my one of my sisters. She's pregnant now, and then I have another niece. So you already got cuz you got two. Cousins. That's four right there. It's, it's four y'all. And so. best believe, <laughs> if you get your daddy jeans, you gonna have friends. You know what I mean? <laughs> you gonna be an extrovert, so you gonna have friends in the neighborhood. You gonna have other kids to play with. I mean, it's gonna be one of them type of situations. So yeah, I'm good with two. I'm great with two. Plus, I'm thinking like, dang, two is perfect because we won't have to have like a freaking minivan or nothing. No, I wouldn't. It's I just... wouldn't do no minivan anyway. <laughs> Can you imagine me in a town and country? <laughs> no shade. Town no shade to people who actually, drive town and countries, but but because the, they actually are. Have you ever rode in one? They're yes. actually really comfortable. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I, yeah, I have. I ain't gonna lie, like they're probably the most comfortable freaking vehicle ever. I just want a right. third. I just want an SUV with a third row. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I think two is good because I don't want to be climbing back there getting a, a third or a fourth kid. I, I just. I, I'm too cool to, and I'm too cool to be in a bed, bro. Like I'm just too cool for that. <laughs> but nah. they are comfortable. I ain't gonna no kizzy. Um. Okay. But now, okay, what do we have to do? Brayden's got to edit a podcast. And yeah. I think I'm going to try to take a nap. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny? For us not having anything to do today, we left out about, what, 12 something? We've been gone for like four hours. We've been gone for like four hours and we didn't have nothing to do today. But we just got out, ran some errands, and then we was like, all right, let's just stop and eat. Yeah, we, and got little, we went to our little Cajun spot, and then we got the Froyo. We got the frozen yogurt, and oh we went God. to a, uh, Target, Target, which that was on her. Pom Pom got some new clothes. I'm going to share them with y'all when the time is Now, right. mind you, we just went in there oh. to get some kitchen towels, and she comes out with clothes. And I thought this was like the cutest little sweater. It's like a cream color. Um, it's it's going to be like a cover-up for one of my swimsuits when we go out of town, but I just thought it was cute. Yeah. I don't know. Just something to throw over a swimsuit. Yeah. So, yeah, I got that. And I got it in an XXL just to have that, like, really chunky fit. Not too tight out in the sun, you know. What's funny is we went in the Target, right? Because uh, we had went in there to get some dry kitchen towels. And so she went over to the baby section and started looking at baby clothes. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know these was... Are these new kitchen towels? <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I, well, you have to walk through there, walk by anyway. No, you don't. You, you can do. just, you can just see. The problem is you, when you go on Target, you gotta have a one-track mind. One thing you go in there for, and boom. But you can't because y'all Target has been killing it lately, and I mean like adult to kid. The kids section actually wasn't that popping today, but um, yeah, the adult section was was really nice. But I didn't really, we didn't spend much time there. Yeah, we did because uh, uh, I no. yeah, Brandon was already like, uh, I'm probably just gonna call the Uber to go and leave you. I here. literally like, was about uh, to be like, here, you take the car home and I get an Uber. I'm like, sir, <laughs> it's not gonna be that long. We were probably in there for about 15 minutes. No, it was longer than that. 20 minutes, but that's only because we couldn't find the towels. That wasn't even. With what I was doing. Well, no, we we didn't go in there looking for the towels. We went in there and went right to the but baby section. We, but even when we started looking for them, we couldn't find them. Uh, I mean, we it, we walked around for like two minutes. Come ten. on, ten. No, it was not. No, it was about ten minutes. It was okay, it was not about no five ten. minutes for real. Look, she just went from ten to five. No, it was not. It was about five minutes and ten. And then I was like, you know what? Why don't I just ask somebody? Duh. And then I found he walked me over there. How long we was in the baby clothes section? Probably about ten minutes. Twenty. It was not 20 minutes. So every so every time she would come up on an outfit, she'd be like, shut the front door. This is adorable. <laughs> and I'm like, what is it? <laughs> it is stuff. I'm gonna lie. Yeah. Um, yeah. for girls and boys, by the way. But um okay. Yeah, y'all thought y'all y'all thought we was about to give it away, didn't y'all? <laughs> 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 Alright, so I'm getting ready to go out for brunch with we playing like a little surprise brunch for my best friend you know well she's getting married in like two weeks so we're going to this place in Plano Plano called Miami Vibes it's brand new it just opened so yeah I want to show you guys my outfit because my outfit came from Amazon all right what you got okay so 
this little blue dress. I think it comes in like two or three different colors. Mm. Came from Amazon, super affordable. I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. Nice. And then my shoes are an old birthday gift from Hubs um, by Renee Caivalo. These are two of my, well, one of my faves. Yeah. And then my um, purse is a, a birthday gift from my mom. This is by Stide and that's- I like the contrast of the blue and yellow. Yeah, that's pretty cute. good. Something yeah. Like springy. But it's a little cool outside. That's why I have on like long sleeves. But that's my favorite. My drip check.